Meantime, 2010 will be a bad year for airlines, but not nearly as bad as they thought initially. The International Air Transportation Association cut its estimated annual losses for the airline industry in half, but that's still a collective $2.8 billion. The IATA says there's been a much stronger demand than expected so far this year. Giovanni Bassignani is the CEO of that association. He joins me now live from Geneva. Uh, good afternoon to you, sir. Three billion dollars in afternoon. three billion dollars in losses sounds like a lot, but you're saying that's actually a, a brighter picture. You know, at least we are starting to see some good numbers, at least on the passenger side. We saw an improvement in the passengers in December, but in January we recorded 6% growth in passengers and 28% in cargo compared to January of the previous year. So the things are moving quite well. Uh, we had also a record in load factors in the months of January, 75%. So slowly, but it's improving, and at least we start to have some positive remarks. Um, but where is that traffic coming from? Uh, the Europe, Europe and the U.S. seem to be still pretty weak. Yes, I would say the, the growth, the demand growth is substantially in Asia Pacific and in Latin America, roughly a 12% growth. In Middle East, 15%, another good, good result. What is weakest, the weakest area are North America with a 6.2 demand growth in Europe. I would say Europe is the weakest one with 4.2. And that's really the two areas where we would see the biggest losses for next year. North America, we are forecasting a 1.8 billion losses, and in Europe, a $2.2 billion. But it's slightly moving in the right direction. We, we have still to have some cautious because, you know, fuel is still a wild card. Right. And well, capacity me, will have to be managed carefully. Let me ask you as well there, uh, something else that may be throwing a little bit of sand in the gears is the ongoing negotiations with unions, threats of strikes in Europe. I mean, you're looking at Aer Lingus, Lufthansa, BA, all experiencing some difficulties on this front. How, how much of a problem, how much could that problematize these forecasts? I would say yes, when I was saying cautious, I would say fuel is a wild card, capacity has to be managed carefully, and labor. And our partners must understand that keeping cost control under great attention is important. Our partners, we don't want to see increase in user charges in airports, in air traffic control, and labor, especially in Europe, with some uh, strikes or some trade union difficult relations with airlines must understand that is not the right moment because is, we are still in a, let's say, in a very, very unstable situation. Is that the biggest risk to the recovery? Uh, the biggest for me is fuel because fuel really could change the, the game because we are forecasting a $79 per barrel. That means uh, roughly $130 billion of cost for the industry. And uh, at that level, we can try to, to, to manage the situation. But if the oil price anticipates the growth okay. of the economy, it will be a problem. All right. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, IATA CEO Giovanni Bisignani.